Hi there folks, uh, G Power Dragon here. Uh, this time I got around to uh, overclock uh, previous benchmark uh, tests. Um, t this we got today an Intel Xeon W3680 and uh, this time I overclocked to 4 GHz. Uh, plenty of people told me in the comments uh, squat squawk box down below that that's supposed to be possible. With hyperthreading disabled because uh, games like that better. I uh, usually throttle stop because um, Intel Extreme Tuning Utility just won't start. It shows the little. Um, maybe it's still in the system. XTU. No, I removed it because it's broken. Um, yeah, you just get the little intro thingy, the little uh, black or white box, um, on my side it's white, and then it's almost done loading, <laughs> disappears. So that doesn't work, so I have to use the throttle box, throttle, throttle box, box, whatever, and go to TRL, and, and this, on this particular CPU, 30x multiplier means, uh, don't go hide in that one, Means 4 gigahertz. Uh, I test 32. It's gonna crash. So I like to get two steps back to be safe and stick with that. So uh, temps are here. The room is pretty hot because uh, uh, the temperature is. It's, it's on the floor, so it's it's pretty cold. Cold down below. Uh, it's running hotter than uh, always. That's the max. Never mind. It's the actual <laughs> 48. Is the actual. So. Um, let's get a little run going on. First, we're gonna do a little uh, render test CPU side. So as you can see, I have the automatic overclock. On the video card, uh, GTX 1060. Uh, running 61 degrees, well, to do nothing. Oh, wait, that's the CPU doing hard for work. <laughs> Never mind. Let's zoom in over here. Um, here's like the big boss, there's two of two X5850s, I think. I'm not sure, there's a 12. Core 24 thread. Oh, well, actually, it's a little high core number. Not really useful for gaming. I mean, six cores is like sufficient. So, as you can see, we're f actually on 4 gigahertz, as you can see over here. Uh, I forgot my turbo boost. Uh, where's the razor? Can activate the power plan and makes this disappear. What the heck? So we got 155, one, we got 585 points. Uh, my my best score was 625. So it's remembering, I, I select the settings to remember the best test. The previous time I tested with the overclock was 625 points. Uh, you can see all the other things below there, OpenGL. 57 FPS and the real FPS is 61 because with recording you have a little bit of loss, uh, maybe 1 to 5 FPS. A recording of 30 FPS, uh, 30 megabits. Uh, using a voice recorder because this has to be professional audio, of course. This thing is stuck for some reason. Oh, yeah, keep, keep going. Free up the memory, even though I have. Even have like 25 freaking gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> um, so let's scroll here. Uh, CPU usage 100, so let's press the test. Alright, this thing is back. Now it's uh, 4 gigahertz all day because uh, the custom power plan on the Razer Cortex. Make sure that this one uh, selected. It's it's smarter. The Razer Cortex power plan is deciding when to 
when a game is, is launched, it's going to high performance automatically and uh, make sure it, it always achieves maximum uh, CPU frequency power. If there's newbies out there, if I say frequencies, uh, maximum power usually is the case. So yeah, if you have there is a power plan, and then if you turn boost activated on Razor Cortex, pretty nice little program. Let's get a little intro in there. Um, over here, th those ones selected are program are options or programs that will be uh, closed out. Like uh, well, CPU Z, I don't want that to close out. Some services deactivated, like Windows Update's one of them. Uh, and Plex updates, that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> into overclock service, it's even still there somehow. It's never completely removed. That's broken. And clean RAM, clean, clean clipperboard in case you got hackers in the game, the multiplayer, they cannot see a clipboard because it's getting cleaned off. And yeah. Over here is the games discovered on Drive. Yes, carries model still things, 206. Uh, only, I'm only do the most uh, popular and the most tested ones, like uh, Breakpoint, uh, Metro, Last Light I have still, I think, I'm not sure. Let's clean the junk. Old version of Rufus. Uh, okay. Now Turbo Boost is activated, let's double check. Mm, yeah, let's do another test. Maybe you can... New record. 40 hertz a dot 40 and now we go to the games uh, I'm gonna test three games first one is Wildlands um, second one is Breakpoint and the third one maybe some Rainbow Six or something else Far Cry 5 is also pretty CPU demanding so I'm, I'm gonna go with Far Cry 5 because it's really Notching the CPU big time. Okay, here is CPU core number two, and it's hitting another percent, of course. Uh, same with the other cores, because uh, this is all CPU cores, low oversight. Uh, CPU clock frequency, it thinks it's going to 3.4. For some reason it's not reading higher, even though this one is telling me it's absolutely 4 GHz and this one is saying 3.4 GHz and this one 4. I don't know why it's saying that, it's kind of strange. And megabytes on the RAM, 3 gigabytes off to 24. Lots of graphs you can see here. So CPU temp, the highest ever got a 64, pretty decent for an overclock. Our new score is 594. Ooh. Not quite breaking a 625 yet. Maybe just a margin of error. If that's, that's at least 20 points off, I don't know why. Okay, let's prepare this thingy. Uh, on screen disk. Oh, wait. We're going to Wildlands. Um, when I get the statistics up, it's not gonna launch. Last time I tried it failed. Media detection. Uh, let's get display mode on. Show on statistics. And um, yeah, let's go to a game and test over there. All right, we in. 
uh, was more difficult than necessary. I had to get a backup of the game. It was broken. Battle Eye service files could not be found. We're good. And so the game cannot launch. So yeah. Anywho, my download server laptop he had uh, the backup file. So we in like Flynn. This time the game is on the SSD. Fair settings this time. We're turning around, nice and smooth. And uh, yeah, looking at the water 49, 50. With the bush over there. Uh, um, this game has trouble with the, the tactical information uh, overlay in the left hand corner with the with the FPS uh, average and uh, frequencies, temperatures, the game cannot launch with those graphs with those things activated. And I just gonna GeForce Experience Shadow Play. Yeah, I have but Shadow. Why did my backup FPS counter disappear? I had a nice plan, and well. You have to see for yourself how it runs here. Yeah. For my experience, it's pretty nice. Oh, what do you know? The overlay works. What a surprise, Ubisoft. You fixed your shit. I'm very surprised that, that they fixed that shit. Normally the overlay just won't. Wow, that's great. Don't... Don't uh, focus on the megahertz rating. It's it's, it's broken. It's four gigahertz right now. It's all very high except motion blur because <laughs> benchmark with overclock. Oh, let's see. We can pause it. <laughs> So, in case you didn't know, we have an FPS locker on 60, because the monitor is only 60 Hz. Mainly to make screen tearing to a minimal, and also to save power. Blowing up the crack house. It has more holes in the walls than cracks, but... Phil Swift meme. We got a stick in the roof, cracks in the walls, and a whole plow with flex glue. <coughs> okay, that was with overclock. Now let's turn off the overclock. Alright, we now uh, in the benchmark without overclock. It's a bit less smooth. I'm noticing it. It's it's less smooth. Still hitting 57 FPS. 54 average. Yeah, this is a, the smoothness of the moving of the camera is is a little bit uh, less nice to look at. With the overclock, the the camera movements are more smooth, and uh, and you can really notice that when you're playing for a long time and turn the camera all the time because enemies are coming behind your eyes. <laughs> Average is above here, minimal. 19, maximum 57. Okay, let's do some gameplay with overclock, 4 gigahertz. So if you want to see the difference, just remember and note down the average FPS when I when I saying it. We average around 49. 
Sitting here in a jungle in a town, 49. It's a pretty good uh, increase uh, compared to the previous one. Uh, activated after the game has started. Doesn't work. I just get nothing. So yeah. I can turn this off. Uh, our frequencies for gigahertz. Say, yeah, overclock is working. Uh, let's go to millivolts. That's not really counting. CPU 64 degrees. Game is running for a minute already. Peak temperature 66. Uh, doing pretty good. Mm, we don't have manual overclock. That's on zero offset. I have only automatic uh, power limit, 160 percent. It's the first time I had so many icons. Let's get the bar at top here again. <coughs> uh, audio check, check. Yeah, right volume. This time it's not broke. No. Crackling. Still averaging around forty eight. Let's pick a fight with these gangsters again. Watch your fire. We don't want to hit any civilians. Fucker knows somebody's got it for him now. I'm nailing it this time because I know how many they are. No precision wildfire helps when there's too many of them. Forty FPS, forty seven. Okay, when you have a fight going on with a medium sized group of enemies, the lowest FPS I see is thirty nine. I don't notice that at all, the controls don't get sluggish. Normally it gets a little sluggish because it with no overclock. So a pretty w nice improvement with the bone stock settings on the CPU with normal turbo boost. For some reason I think the game looks nicer on SSD. I think it's a placebo. I don't know. I don't know why. It's supposed to be not a thing. Let's wait for the boys. Well, one boy in a race. Most of my squads are girls. <laughs> When I'm back on the road, we have an average of 48. Damn good for a bar. Back home, all we ever needed for a bar was a padlock. Barnes back home must not have anything worth stealing. Not worth as much as a couple tons of coca, anyway.
I'm still thinking about uploading in uh, VP9 because for some reason my last video got converted back to uh, the H.264 codec. Well, even though I used Handbrake uh, Pineapple Compressor to make VP9 1080p and upload it. For some reason, still averaging 48. For, for some reason, um, they converting it back to the old code. I don't know why. But I have a little sheet on the wall to have for the right up upload configs. For 720p, you want to have 5 megabytes 30 fps. 7.5 or 60 uh, fps. Pretty handy sheet, and uh, with SDR VP9, it's the latest support for 4K, but also support for 2K for 1440p, 60 megabytes, 16 megabits. That's right. Anywho, I'm done with this test. Let's go. Uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint next. Ah, this time I got working. Ah, the frequency counter is broken. It's for right now. Okay, this this one is saying four gigahertz. Even though MSI of the burn is is telling me it's running three point four gigahertz. Uh, who should I believe now? Well, the higher performance, that's for damn sure. Okay, let's do before and after. Uh, first, a little run with overclock, and then what is, and then I turn off the overclock. Running more shit here than it should be, that's weird. What's going on here? Temperatures are nice. Our average is 44. Strange. Uh, okay, let's get uh, another run with no overclock. Uh, where is throttle stopper? Throttle block. Why is it dumping an E and E? That's weird. It's dumping something. It's still on four gigahertz. That's weird. Crap. Where's throttle stopper over here? So I need to leave it in performance where everything is stuck. 26, 26, 27, yep, that's stuck. Okay, now it goes back to 3.4, that's stock speed with the reverse. Yeah, this is stock speed, 3.4. Let's do another run. Forty-five. 
What's going on here? Why is it not making different or better? Oh man, Vulcan is weird, man. The CPU load. Uh, I forgot to focus on CPU load. I think it was. You know what? We're gonna run them side by side, overclocked and overclocked. Because this thing is. This shit is making my head spin. 360s. Okay, let's get the beauty scene again. Still 3.4, so yeah. Average is 36. So the average is lower. Fifty when we hear. Hmm. Is this power supply dying or something? Because FPS is a little worse with the overclock. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's turn it back on quick. any difference how we get we got some lag spikes ah oh, man game mode is the overclock profile and performance is default I think Is the Razer Cortex even boosted? I mean... It's not even on! Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I feel so dumb. Uh. Cancel. Okay, um... I have to turn on Razer Cortex Turbo Boost on. Not like an idiot. Okay, let's do this again. Should have a higher score now. 48 on the start. That's more like it. So, yeah, you want Turbo Boost, and you want your Razor Cortex Turbo Boost on. It's no better. Man, this game looks nice. The ultimate plans are just so great. You can even make yourself muddy. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, is there a default button on here? Default button, and when I go here, is the overclock still there? Yes, that only counts for this one. That's no now to its normal clock. Let's do this again.
I saw 49. But now it likes to stick to 45. We've breakpoint. Oh. 49 when the drones start attacking. That's higher than with the overclock. What is going on here? Volume is weird. It just doesn't care if it's overclock or not. That's gonna do almost the same. Also for the CPU, it's almost the same load. It's around 70%. So, if the game is Vulcan, <laughs> not much different. Weird. Overclock. CPU has lower stress. With the latest video drive, with the latest video driver, of course. Anywho, this is it for this episode. If you like this, if you want me to test more games, sure give a like or subscribe. Or if there is a Patreon uh, link, certainly go in there, give some coins, and uh, maybe in a couple of years' time, have myself a better chair and more hardware to test for you guys. It's getting cold outside, so uh, throw some blocks in the stovepipe and uh, enjoy the fire.